what is going on. So I spent literally all morning trying to tackle Steph's cord. She snapped her axle a few weeks ago and literally every single, every single bolt on that freaking whole left side of the car is seized. And so I've had to literally cut everything off and it's been, hasn't been fun. Hopefully we'll get that done. I had to order some more parts, but whatever. So today we're doing the exhaust on a 300, which is sick. We were supposed to do it yesterday, but we didn't get the flex pipe that we needed for the exhaust system in time, so whatever, we're gonna bang it out today. Hopefully we can finish, that'd be sick. I'm excited to, you know, have it all connected and hear it, and oh, it's gonna be so, so sick. So, heading out to the shop now. I gotta pay shop rent, which sucks, but it's a, it's, it's a necessity, so, so whatever. All right, let's, let, let's get down to the shop. We got Donald. What up? What's up, homie? What's going on? What up, Tom? And we got Drew, too. Come on, you can do it, Tuck. Look shaking that booty. Tuck, come here. Come on, Tuck. No, come on. What are you scared? Take a leap. He's got little legs. Come here. Oh, he's so perfect. Give me that bum. We're waiting for the flex to come in before we start working on the exhaust. But in the meantime, I do have a muffler for it. Now, here it is. I got this actually from Mike G. It's a Blitz muffler. I don't know where Mike found it, but I like it a lot. Need some love, but I think it'll fit the Z perfectly. Nice, nice little racer fart can. I'm all about it. We gotta clean this up. It has overspray all over it and it looks like ass. So, I'm gonna hit this with some acetone, take all the paint off, and then uh, polish it up, maybe. Now it's gonna take forever to get the rest off. Get in there. I'm pretty sure this thing is painted with like underbody. This stuff is really hard to get off. Well, it took quite a bit of time, but. I'm gonna hit it with the scotch right, clean it up a little bit, and we'll, we'll get it good enough for now. Get it. All right, so I'm at Morpheus Performance, and we're about to do my full exhaust. So we're gonna do full custom exhaust. Well, I'm gonna be using a Blitz muffler and an ISR turbo elbow. But if you already have an aftermarket exhaust on your Z, you could utilize a cat pack with a uh, SR downpipe and make it work, but we're gonna do a full custom exhaust. So it's pretty easy coming back besides on the muffler side, we gotta do this crazy little like tight S right here. I'm gonna go through, hug the drive shaft, go back over, and then up into the downpipe. What are you thinking, working back to forward or forward to back or meeting them in the middle? It's gonna be probably back to here. Yep. And then forward to here. And then and then this middle section here. Beautiful. Now, just like the titanium cuts, we're gonna be using pie cuts. It's just easier in this way. We can really manipulate the piping to fit exactly where we want it. So Justin's stacking up like a generic 90 right now, so we could use that back here. Fortunately, unlike the titanium, we can weld the stainless, or Justin can weld the stainless quite a bit faster. Yeah, exactly. And you know what, for all you guys that are saying that this is a waste of time and a waste of argon and everything else, these pie cuts will allow us to do anything we want in any way, shape, or form to get this exhaust exactly perfect. So that's why we're doing it. So basically, we inspect it underneath the car and try to figure out where we want to put our brakes in the exhaust. So Justin ordered V-Man clamps. It's my first time using V-Mans, which is sick. It's going to work really nice, super easy. We're going to be using a triple flange off the turbo just because the turbo elbow comes with that. And that's easy to do. So since it's attachable to the turbo elbow right here, we figured the best spot would be to put a V-Man over here so we could basically give us room for the whole training section and make it not too long. And then we're going to do a single piece all the way from the tip of the drive shaft to right about where the rear axle starts and I can remove the rear axle piece when I have to work on the diff, the axles, or the rear subframe so it works out easy like that. So check these things out guys. They're called V-band clamps for those who, don't, who do not know. I've never used them before in any of my cars because I haven't had enough 22, but <laughs> this see, is. What's really nice about the good stuff like stainless bros is you see this little lip right here? It's opposite on this side so that when they seal, no gaskets needed, no nothing. Seal it up, put the clamp on it, and you're done. And it's one freaking bolt. Mm -hmm. don't, don't have to worry about three rusty, crusty exhaust bolts because no one puts stainless bolts in their stainless exhaust. Everyone puts carbon bolts and they always rust and it's a pain in the ass and this is gonna, look at that, clicked right in. Look at you, little baby. Hi. Hi. 
What's up guys, Jimmy Oaks here and I'm just going to talk to you for about 15 to 23 minutes. Stay tuned, I'm going to fucking do something. <laughs> What's up guys? That's, oh, because it's so low. Yeah, Look at the colors on that thing. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I didn't think you'd get that much coloring out of stainless. Yeah, you can play around with it. You get different colors if you want. You want to make this one look pretty. So is that like a higher heat that will give you that color? It's different heat and different argon coverages. Really? So I can, if I leave the argon coverage over top of it for like 10 seconds, it'll be silver. But if I move it and move it and move it, I can change the color. Like if you look at this bead right up here. Oh yeah. That crazy purple. That's I can't get out. I can't believe that you're getting that color from stainless. Mm -hmm. That looks way too good to be hidden underneath the car. <laughs> so we have the 90 tacked up to the straight. Now you guys, as you guys know, that's going to be hooking essentially right here. Now we got to basically mount the muffler first so we can make the bridge between the muffler and the piece we just made. Now we need to use the factory hangers, which I lost. So we actually cut this off of that random piece that I have laying around that Roger gave me. It used to go right here. And for some reason, this happens to fit perfectly. Right here, which is sick. That's really freaking cool. MVP of the month and employee of the month. You already know what it is. All right, so that, that random hanger that we cut off, uh, mocked it up, figured out where we want it, now we're gonna bend it. Now, bending stainless is thick. That'd be a little difficult. We'll find out. I'll bend it with my hand right now. Like, <laughs> we're trying to use the mounts that are running the muffler just to keep it easier, and it seems like it should line up. I just have to cut this Johnny right here, trim it, move it over, and we'll tack it. We'll make it work trial and error. To make these hangers work, we had to bend them up a decent amount. I kind of messed up the casing there, but Justin's gonna fix it. So Justin will fix this. Uh, as you can see, it's risen. This, we're gonna cut this hanger off of the support hanger, and then just weld a new support here and a new support here with the stainless steel rod that I got at Logan Steel. So this should just... Nice. Oi! All right, since I had to bend these hangers up so much, I made support so they go like this. They hold it nice in place. Bam. Alright guys, so I've gotten quite a few uh, packages and letters sent to the PO Box. I'll be doing an unboxing here probably tomorrow, I just haven't had time because we've been going you know, so crazy into Z. But the Z32 Nation boys actually sent me a package and I'm kind of stoked to see what's inside. Dumb. Sideways for attention, horizontal for effect. Hey, fucked it. I thought it was totally paper. Hey, we got a banner, Z Nation. We got a red Johnny too. Mini boys. Oh, perfect. We got jet tags. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys. And Justin saved the day. All right, so we got the muffler mocked up. You want it, we're gonna poke it slightly up, of course. That's where we want it. I really wanted to ricer mount my muffler and kind of like cork it a little bit just to really emphasize the whole single exhausting. I love it, I think it looks sick. Ricer in me, but that's as much of a cork as we can get. But Justin's mocking up the next 90, so we can start mocking that up inside of the car. Done? Yeah, it's done. Alright, well the majority of the welding is now done. The two pie cut areas, which is just completely OD and completely killer. God, this axle back is gonna look insane. Alright, so here is the get this bad boy. There we go. There's the gist of it. Alright, 
All right, so now he's gonna make more hangers for the mid-piece, and uh, what we did was we pre-bent the bottom section round, so it actually hugs the section of the pipe, and we gotta bend it backwards to make the hook for the hanger itself. So, heat it up, make it easier, hit it into place, and go from there. Nice. Perfect. She's starting to look like something. That's beautiful. That's it. That's all I have to say. So now, this is all mocked up. We rotated it, measured it, tacked it together. We just measured it again. Now we're gonna put the straight piece in that will connect this to the muffler. And then the last bit of straight right here. It actually, for some reason, the flange on the muffler is a tiny bit bigger. I think it's like 3.1 inches or something. So this is almost gonna fit a little bit in it, so it's gonna be perfect. A little bit room for error. Oh yeah. Plenty. So. Justin saying, uh, best bet is to weld up the pieces together first, just in case we weld it and it moves a little bit, we could make up for it later with the muffler. So I don't think I personally explained the whole purging process when it comes to welding. Now, I'll let Justin do it because he's probably gonna say a lot more fluently than I am, but. All right, so when we're purging the inside of it, basically what we're doing is when you're welding, there's an argon gas that flows down on top of the part and covers the area that you're welding so that no oxygen intrudes and ruins the metal. Because oxygen is extremely flammable and it'll burn it in the air and it'll go pop, 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 pop. Yes. Essentially. And you end, up, <laughs> you end up with a lot of contamination in your welds. Exactly. So, in order for us to get the inside of the pipe free from oxygen, we have to input argon in this side. It fills the pipe and it removes all the oxygen. I'll poke holes in here and it'll remove all the oxygen out so that our welds on the inside of the pipe will look just as good as the welds on the outside of the pipe. And as you guys saw before, oh, it's all together now, but it's gorgeous in the inside and gorgeous on the outside. Just like Steffi. Just don't poke him with a stick. Just don't poke him with a stick. Many minutes of welding later, <laughs> and the pipe is basically done. And it's gorgeous. I still can't get over this. You guys might be sick of looking at this stuff, but I, I have not, and I won't be for a long time. Look at this piece. This has been an awesome learning experience for me. I've learned a lot of tricks and tips through Justin, watching him weld, bugging him questions while he's welding, and just seeing him as he does things. And this is, learning how to TIG is such an amazing skill. I can't wait to be able to do this myself. It is a very doable thing. Maybe not initially at this quality, but I'll get there eventually. It takes a lot of practice, but you can do it. It's really not that difficult. If you've got a little bit of skill and a little bit of knowledge, you can, you can do a lot. Yes, I, I looked in the light. <laughs> One crusted boy. <laughs> Final beads for the axle back. <laughs> So it's in the final stretches of the axle back. Now the axle back is definitely the most time intensive part since we did do all the pie cuts. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely overkill. Uh, you, de you don't need to do it, but it does come out to be a better fitting product. It looks better. It's just badass to begin with. For you Z guys that possibly want to do this in the future, you do, not, you do not need to go this crazy with a custom exhaust. You can really get away with using a Z32 aftermarket exhaust and just basically using half of it. Um, but if you already have an exhaust on your Z, Perfect, you could just reuse that. But this is cool to start. The raw stainless itself is pretty cheap. It's usually the labor that will kick you, but of course Justin's hooking me up, so I'm loving <laughs> the experience of it. How's it welding? Good, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's welding pretty good. Cool. Butte. Sits exactly how I wanted it to. It's, it's got a nice little, you know, tilt out for it, for a rice factor, but I love it because you could actually see the pies from the back. Couldn't be happier with this setup. So clearly the axle back came out absolutely amazing. Now this is definitely the most time intensive part of the exhaust just because of all the pie cuts we had to do for it. The rest of the exhaust won't be, won't be too much because it's going to be mainly straight pieces. We're going to have a few, we'll probably have a pie cut here, pie cut here to make up for it. One to tilt over here, bring it back, and then for this, we might pie cut this, or we'll just use a bent section that we have off of this brand new pipe right here. 
Haven't really decided yet, but we got that done. Tomorrow we'll finish the rest of the exhaust and we'll fire up and hear how it sounds. I know I'm stupid eager to hear it. I know you're pumped too. Oh yeah, most definitely. That's gonna sound amazing. Exactly. So that's really all I have to say about that. It's late. I can't even think straight. Justin's tired, I'm tired. Fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got some more side views at this stuff Justin's gonna have on his channel. I think, I think he filmed enough today. So make sure you guys subscribe to him. As you guys know, I've been saying I've been learning so much from his experience and Justin's a great teacher and he's always tastefully teaching throughout his videos and it's a great learning experience. I think you guys should really check it out. So link in the description like always. Give him a sub, give him a view, give him a like. Share his videos. <laughs> so you guys know the deal. We're out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content and have a great night.